Well, this pretty boy is the Bone Wolf, one of the latest offerings from the Creation Club. After the poor showing of Pets to Skyrim, this really has to be rubbish, doesn't it? This may just surprise you. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and uh, let's go grab this little beauty and see if it's actually worth getting. Okay, so first things, uh, activate the quest, let sleeping wolves lie and we've got to read for a letter from Bulgir Bearclaw and we've got to head off near Solstheim. And I think it's actually fairly close to where we picked up one of the horses, so we'll probably go either from Halfenheim or the docks. Okay, Halfenheim, and the quest is over there. Yeah, so the docks will probably be uh, a better place to go from, I think. Yeah, East Empire. Yep, we go from there. That's my little GG, by the way. I like it. And I'm going to get a horse from uh, Inigo, and I'll probably be riding everywhere when I'm actually playing when I'm doing videos I'll uh, I'll probably fast travel just for the sake of the uh, you know keeping the videos fairly brief so I had sw swim over in a full armor and backpack with loads of stuff in it because we'd never drown in real life would we oh canis fruit no no Nom nom, and he's just over there. So let's try a new staff of Hazardokin. I, th I think this stuff is brilliant, by the way. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I've done a vid on this as well. It's a lot of fun. And it could prove to be invaluable in, in, in certain times where you can assassinate people without actually getting a bounty. Um, yeah, very good. Oh, let's deal with this guy first. Let's go and deal with these. Right, it's interesting these attackers, because apparently this bone wolf um, will not fight on your behalf. And so, uh... Oh, not bad from a dead wolf. I think that's it. Ah, no one else to hurt us, so uh, let's read this letter. Yeah, where are you? I've got to dump some of these. Where are you? Ah, commence the channel. This is a truly remarkable, uh, through my experience with these undead walls, I have discovered a method to increase my power by consuming their totems, objects that bind them between life and death itself. I combine the spirits to my own life force. I've already consumed two totems and the hosts are now completely under my control. And some, I need a third or whatever anyway. Uh, gives you a fairly idea. And we got a pickpocket skill book. And this is the first build I've ever, ever put... Um, uh, perks into pickpocketing and uh, again I'm going to do like a little reveal on this build it's really interesting first time I've ever done it and uh, it's pretty damn cool there you go and ooh, pulling the wings off butterflies They're great fun okay how do we get in here no not here Oh, butterfly, nom nom, not here. Must be the other side. Oh, I went right past it. What a bug. Okay, right. Come with me. And that's it. That's literally all there is to this quest. Okay, so I loaded up with a few books and uh, he still hasn't come back. I think he takes a certain amount of time. Oh, by the way, you can see what I've done with the Pets of Skyrim stuff. I mean, they're bloody rubbish. They're useless. They really are. Except I use them to populate my in-game home. And that's why I always would have bought them anyway, good or not. Um, but if you're going to buy them just for, you know, gameplay purposes, don't bother. 
Okay, there you go. Just uh, teleported right to you, and let's just double check and see what he's got. And he carry something. And what's he, has he got them? Come on. Yep, he's got all the books. So he's carrying stuff. Finds no glitches there. Let's take them off him. Now I did a check, I filled him up and uh, he does, he carries, he's got a carry weight, sorry, of 200, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, and what you can do is actually set him a home, so he doesn't actually have to be in your house. If he's going to start getting in your way, you've got a small home, uh, you can actually set him a place. So you sort of lead him to an area where you want him to be and stay here if this is your new home. Okay, and what he'll do is circle in this little area. And there he is. Okay, let's see what this little beauty brings to the party. You have to have him follow you, uh, and then you get what's called the Bone Wolf's Revenge, which actually gives you a flat 25% uh, against the undead. Now, this stacks with Necromage, or Necromage, sorry, it works the same way as the Necromage perks from Restoration Tree, I meaning it affects the players if the player is a vampire and therefore increases spells, shouts, and enchantments. And apparently, you can also raise up to level 60 undead NPCs with a dead thrall. Uh, now, due to lack of time, I haven't verified all this, but uh, it's come from enough sources from me to believe it. So, is it worth it? This mod is incredibly useful, especially for your new character when you're first delving into barrows, etc. We all know how tough some of the droggers and death lords can be, and it's a real help when vampires start spawning. Um, a brilliant addition for the Dawnguard storyline, and a real boost for those playing a necromancer or a vampire. So this mod has proved to be a really decent boost to the player, and in my opinion, absolutely worth the purchase, and I'm surprised myself. Uh, well done to the mod author, good job, thoroughly recommend it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, see you later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!